Good morning, everybody. This is Bill here at uh, WWK Scale Plastic Models. Uh, I hope you've all been having a good morning so far. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a review on this little kit. My daughter found this for me. Flea market find. I love them flea market finds because you can get them cheap sometimes. But uh, she paid like a couple of bucks for this and it was complete. You know, the, the box wasn't in the greatest of shape. I mean, it was beat up a little bit but uh still it's uh complete inside this right here is a Lindbergh model it's uh the hms revenge the captain greenville okay uh says it's a skill level two so that means for ages 12 and older but uh yeah it's a pretty good looking little kit it's not bad at all it's kit number 70864. Um, I think this kit came out back in 1996. Um, little history on it. It says that uh, the Revenge, a typical Elizabethan galleon of 440 tons, was launched at Deptford, England, 1577. She was 92 foot long. 32 foot in breadth and mounted 34 guns. So she had 34 guns on her. It's a lot of guns. In 1591, she became the flagship of Sir Richard Greenville, who led her as part of an expedition to intercept a successful Spanish treasure fleet headed for home. Off the coast of Flores in the Azores, the Revenge found herself caught off from the rest of the, her squadron in the middle of over 50 Spanish warships. Boy, she was in a predicament. After a heroic but hopeless 15-hour battle against 15 Spanish vessels, the 190 men aboard the Revenge surrendered with Greenville mortally wounded. Five days later, the battered Revenge sank in a storm with the loss of the entire crew of the Spanish put aboard her. So there you go. Wow. So the Spanish crew passed away, and the 190 men that surrendered apparently made it so ain't that something but yeah there it is and i'm gonna go ahead and open it up let's see what she looks like inside uh here's the instructions it's just a fold out sheet uh, hms revenge as you can see there's step number one Gives you the color codes and everything, what you want to paint it. Military brown, dark tan, insignia white, insignia red, and brass. That's the colors they're saying used with this. But uh, as you can see, and then I'm going to go ahead and flip it over to the other side, and I'll show you. There's step three. And then step four. And then it also gives you, shows you how to do the rigging, too, on this. So, looks like it's not a bad little kit. I'll be putting it together here soon. Let me close that up and set that over here to the side. And uh, what I like about this kit, too, guys, is uh, it's got the hard molded cells. So, I really like these hard molded cells. Let me pop them out of this bag. And there they are. Watch, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And it looks like they got quite a bit of detail in them, too. Look at that. Not bad on the detail. And there's a little plaque with the revenge for a little uh, stand that came with it. But yeah, not a bad looking little uh, set of cells. So let me set them to the side. Let's look at the back of them here. I don't see no flash on them or anything like that. So looks like they're molded uh, quite a bit better on the front than the back. The back pretty much, there's a little bit there, but not much. <clears throat> now we got the main bag here. Let me... Uh, take this out it's kind of a mess but i done checked it it's all there so everything's there is supposed to be there let's 
set some of these parts out here. I don't want to lose any of them. One sec, guys. A lot of times when you buy these models like this at a flea market or something they've been gotten into and some people take have taken parts off the sprues and things like that. So, But I checked her and she is complete. Now, well, one more little part in there. So right now we're going to go ahead and go to the main ship body. Uh, that's it right there. Don't look bad at all. It's got a lot of detail in there. The cannons in there, you can see them, they're already mounted. Right in that area. They even got a hole in them, so you can make them look pretty realistic. That's the back side of it. And then the other side to it. I've heard rumors that this... Uh, this is a nightmare to get together right and uh, sit here right now and trying to snap it, get it close. And uh, oh, it'll go together. It's just going to have to, a little tender love and care to get her where she needs to go. But uh, that's pretty close right there. It's not a real big ship, as you can tell. There's the decks. Had several decks. Look at there. One, two, three, four, five. So she goes up and steps up pretty good. As you can see. Yeah, let me get get in closer so you can see this deck. But that's the end parts. And there's the, uh, the stern area. It's got uh, quite a bit of uh, detail in it. And then there's one of the sprues. Uh, you can see some flashing there on them sprues, so it's going to take a little bit of cleaning up. But it shouldn't be that bad. I see some crow's, crow's nest there. It's got the little lifeboat right here. So yeah. It's not bad. There's the little flags. And then some loose parts here. And I know they're all here. I've done check. So... That's pretty much it. You're looking at all the parts right there. So let me lay this all back in here. Not much to it. Like I said too guys, I was real glad to see that it had the uh, those hard cells. The molded cells like that. They just make a big difference. I really like the molded cells like that. They're easier to work with, to weather them better, just everything. I just I just like them a lot more. So I'm not gonna put this stuff back in the bags till after I shut this video off, but uh there you go guys, there's a video of it. And that's the Lindbergh, the Captain Greenbill HMS Revenge. Skill level two. So this ought to be a little bit of fun to build. It's going to take a little work, you know. A little knife work, a little sand in here and there, but it should go together okay. Um, the scale on, it does not give you the scale on this anywhere. So I'd say it's anywhere from, oh, on the low side, the little side, probably one two hundredth up to, uh, the bigger side, maybe one one seventieth around there, probably. I'm thinking that's probably the scale on this. So, but uh, anyway, that's it. 
that's the little review on this model and uh, when I build it I'll uh, give you another review so I appreciate you looking at this video and uh, I want to I want to give a shout out to uh, Martin out there he's got a channel and uh, you know my channels not that old and he did a few things for me in uh, in his Facebook and everything and had some of his friends come and look at my channel uh, at that point, I only had like seven subscribers, and which, hey, I was proud to get seven. So, but uh, by the next morning, I had like 38 subscribers. So, I, I appreciate what you did for me there, Martin. Uh, appreciate it a lot. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. And uh, in this video, and I hope you all have a, a good day and a good night. And God bless all of you, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.